Welcome to Charter Local Edition. I'm Tracy Young. The 11th annual Newport Beach Film Festival screens April 27th through the 29th in Newport Beach. And joining us to highlight all the fun films and parties is the festival's co-founder and CEO, Greg Schwank. Nice to have you with us, Greg. Thank you. Um, when someone talks about a film festival, what's the purpose? Why do we even have and why do we go to a film festival? Well, I think there's really two, two main audiences that we're pleasing. One obviously is the filmmaker who gets to uh, have their film screened to adoring audiences. And the other is, are the patrons that come out that want to see something special, that are tired of the, you know, the same old, same old, and want to see something, one, before anyone else has a chance to see it, uh, two, to have that interactive opportunity to meet the people in front of and behind the camera during their screening. So it's really a cool experience for everyone involved. How interesting is it, too, that you know sometimes the studio head or a marketer or distributor won't think a film is viable, and yet it goes to a film festival, picks up traction, and then the next thing we know, it's actually screened. Right. Well, you look at it, you know, we were the festival that, that brought Crash to the U.S. in 2005. That went on to win the Academy Award. We're also the festival that had the West Coast premiere of The Cove last year that just won the Oscar for Best Documentary. So we're really uh, an opportunity for an unsung film to have its time in the spotlight and be discovered both by an audience and possibly by Hollywood overall. Right. And we get to see so many different kinds of films. I mean, there are documentaries, there are comedies, there are shorts, there are things for youth, for family. I mean, there's a bit of everything, isn't there? Uh, a richer array of different opportunities. Uh, you mentioned our, our family component. We were named the number one family film festival in the U.S. by Kids First a few years back. Uh, so if there are people who want to come out and see some kid-friendly, family-friendly titles, we have those. Uh, our action sports lineup uh, I think is really second to none. So if you enjoy surf, skate, uh, snowboarding, uh, wakeboarding, motocross, you enjoy those sports and want to see some of the best films out there, Newport is the place to yeah, go to. I don't to. see too many of those at film festivals actually. That's, a little, that's unique and different. Well we're really, we look at it that Orange County is the epicenter for the action sports industry. So it's only natural that we serve that industry really well. I know one year, I, uh, your book that I had, I was looking at the amazing amount of documentaries in there. You have things about water conservation, about pollution, about um, garbage. They were these incredible docs, and I thought, I don't see these films anyplace else. And they were really serious, very interesting films. Well, and I think we, we really pride ourselves. We'll do approximately 60 major feature documentary uh, films during our festival. We also have within that uh, a very strong environmental lineup, as you mentioned, but also our new art, architecture, and design series has been garnering a great deal of praise uh, from our audiences as far as films that are uh, you special to the, those disciplines, uh, and the audience really, really enjoys that. All right. So usually most festivals sort of have like your opening night, you have your centerpiece, and then your closing, and there's things going on all the time. You have somebody interesting performing on opening night. Well, we, I think, have one of the greatest opening nights of any film festival I've been to in the world. Uh, 2,000 people come out to our screening and our post-event. Uh, 25 to 30 of the top restaurants in Orange County do their signature dish. Uh, we have a fashion show by Fashion Island and a private performance by Cirque de Soleil. Wow, which so is a, a really wonderful amazing thing. Evening. So that's really family friendly on top of it. Uh, it, it it's, it's, well, it's for older family members. Okay. I think it's really 21 and over oh, only it because okay, it's, it's bar by absolute. So gotcha. it's. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Wonderful. And then during, we can't cover every film. I'm so very sorry. We want to drive people to the website so you can really see all the array of films. What about closing night? That's usually very Closing important night's night. at the beautiful Lido Theater uh, in Newport Beach, one Gorgeous. of the historic locations. Yes. And we bring in a number of restaurants and, and again, have a, number, a, a really great evening. But we have special events going on every night of the week. And I just encourage people to go to our website, right. NewportBeachFilmFest.com. Tickets are now on sale. Right, and there are only most of them, just for the films, are $12. Events are more expensive, but you're really very, very friendly when it comes to pricing. A very accessible event. All right. Great to have you with us. Congratulations. Hope this is a great year for you. Thank you very much. For Charter Local Edition, I'm Tracy Young. Greetings, citizen. We are the Calabasas Green Team. We are in the third year of a drought, and we all need to save water. Here are some helpful tips to help you save water and money. Don't use your toilet as a waste basket. There is no need to keep the water running while brushing your teeth. Only use the dishwasher and clothes washer on full loads. While washing dishes or rinsing food, don't let that water run. Just use it as you need it. Cut down on your usage, cut down on your bill. We, we are, are the Calabasas, Calabasas Green Team, and, and we, we are, are here, here to save your world. world.